What are some of the most common court orders that are violated in contested divorce cases that you see? Contested divorce case, um, one of two things, it's going to result in a settlement or it's going to go to trial and then the judge is going to issue a decision and order after trial. And that decision and order is then going to be incorporated into the judgment of divorce. So uh, with that, you have the same types of possibilities on enforcement um, as you do in any other kind of case. So a lot of them are around the money. So either spousal maintenance slash alimony, child support, those tend to be the most common enforcement cases, but you can also have enforcement cases come up around the custody and visitation issues, also around property and assets. Um, the, the difference between whether a judge decides something versus a settlement is that the settlement agreement can put in a lot of different uh, provisions under which somebody is A, alleged to have violated, B, what happens, for instance, a lot of times the agreements will require parties to exchange default notice letters first or go to mediation or go to a parenting coordinator or something along those lines before they file the enforcement application. So you really want to consult your divorce settlement agreement in that instance and indeed even have a consultation with a divorce attorney before you run to court and file your enforcement case, because you may run to court and then find out, oops, I was supposed to go to mediation first, you didn't do it, and now your application just gets dismissed and you just wasted time, money, effort, et cetera, to, to get to that stage. So with a decision and order after trial by a judge, that is not the case. So a judge can't order the parties to go to mediation first before coming back to court. Um, so uh, in that instance, you really just want to consult the decision and order of the judge to then uh, see whether there's a basis to, to come back to court based on the fine wording of that decision and order. Uh, indeed, Again, before you go running into court, you want to have that consultation with a divorce attorney to really judge uh, your, your likelihood of prevailing, but also maybe what you could do to prevent going into court in the first place.